the overthrow of Mohamed Morsi is a, a terrible blow for the uh, Egyptian Muslim Brotherhood. Morsi won a, a free election, albeit by a very narrow margin, uh, a year ago. And that was an extraordinary outcome after the ouster of uh, Hosni Mubarak in February 2011. The Muslim Brotherhood had been a banned organization. It had operated in the shadows. It was always a very effective organization with uh, a strong national presence. So to capture supreme power and to do very well in parliamentary elections was something it could barely have dreamed of before the revolution. So to have the army step in now and to uh, move Morsi out to arrest Brotherhood uh, leaders uh, against the background of uh, serious concerns about violence is, is a hugely important event, not only for Egypt, but for the wider region. What's happening now looks like a repeat of the sort of uh, incidents that were common during the years of dictatorship. The usual suspects being rounded up, uh, media outlets being closed down, and the danger of clashes in the streets. The fate of the Egyptian Muslim Brotherhood is highly relevant to other countries in the region. It's striking, for example, that the uh, autocratic monarchies of the Gulf dislike the Muslim Brotherhood intensely, are very pleased at its uh, demise in Egypt. Uh, it's interesting to see that Syria, where there's a, a vicious war going on, President Assad has hailed what he called the defeat of political Islam. In countries where there are strong Islamist movements, particularly those that are linked to the Muslim Brotherhood, there's of course dismay because of the, uh, the implication that if one elected Islamist government can be overthrown, it can happen elsewhere. But many commentators are making the point that this uh, casts a question mark over the whole uh, recent development of uh, Islamist movements embracing uh, democracy or democratic uh, methods, going to elections. What will it do for those who have always espoused violence as a way of achieving their gains? There's a risk that the defeat of a democratically elected movement, regardless perhaps of the precise circumstances in Egypt, will increase extremism in other quarters, undercutting the argument for peaceful political change.